Finally, the time has come. Community servers are now on test branch for testing, and the developers were kind enough to give me one to try out. So I took on my own server as a solo for an entire 24 hours, and needless to say, it was action packed at all times. So I hope you guys enjoy my very first solo adventure on Obitopia. Yo, what is going on guys? Obi here, back with another Rust console video. And as you can see on the bottom left screen, this is a community server. The devs on the game, specifically Pedro, hit me up and he was like, yo, do you want um, a custom server to try? And I was like, yeah, I definitely want to try it out. And he gave it to me, so I got admin control and I'm able to fly around and do cool stuff. But this is only a test server, so right now, it's not in the game yet. This is only on test branch, but it will be coming into the game soon. And this is just like one of the first tests of giving admin and letting people use it and stuff. So a few things I forgot to mention here. One being that I was able to change stuff up, like having horses spawn randomly. I made Bradley spawn in every 30 minutes instead of every hour. And I made nighttime five minutes instead of 10. But the biggest change was making the loot scale to 2x instead of 1x. So farming nodes and looting boxes gave double the loot. Although for some odd reason, making it 2x turned it into 4x due to a bug in the system. So even though the server just wiped, people would have high tier loot very fast. This only made things more action packed, but way harder for a solo like me. I don't really know where I want to build. It seems pretty congested over here. I hate not living near outposts, but I know if I don't build like... I build on this mountain up here. That's where I'm gonna go, on the mountain. Yep, like right up here is perfect. The tip of this hill. Okay, base down. Put down this outer bag real quick. Kinda wanna head into launch site. Nothing crazy, I'll take it though. Sar shots down here. Yeah, I'm heading to launch site, see what happens. It's all looted, which is typical. Should have known it'd be looted. These dudes are full road sign. Separating. Oh, what? Oh, got him. Oh, shoot. I'm out. The other SAR guy just dipped on him. 34 sewing kits, cloth for days. Um, okay. Dude came out of nowhere. I'm flying on this thing, let's go! Holy! Alright! I already made the first play of the wipe and got myself a SAR, which kind of reminds me of a gun in the sponsor of today's video. Enlisted as the ultimate World War II multiplayer shooter with dozens of soldiers, armored vehicles, and aviation. This new kind of first-person shooter uniquely couples PvP with PvE combat. 
take command of a squad of customizable AI soldiers and fight in massive battles with hundreds of targets led by other players. Not only will you have a blast playing and experiencing the war, but the campaigns are so varied that it feels more like an individual game. Between the equipment, uniforms, vehicles, and locations, they're all true to their historical time frame. I just can't get over how detailed some of these weapons and vehicles look. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox Series X, and S, PlayStation 5, and with cross-platform support, you can even play on PS4 and Xbox One. And the best part? You could play for free, no purchase necessary. Follow the link below to download the game and get your exclusive bonus pack now, including soldiers, weapons, and a three-day premium account. So, I think I'm gonna take out the jackhammer and try to get some stone, upgrade the base. Should be the first move. Oh yeah, it's juicy. There's a crate at Dome. I feel like the crate's gonna actually be like really good, so I wanna get on that. I think I quickly make a horse pen. We're at time. Alright, horse pinned down, time to go to dome. And only this one guy. Suicided, so I think it had to have been three minutes left. I can hold it down. Let's see what we got. Really hope it's something good. I mean, not two customs, four jackets. <laughs> I was really hoping for a better gun than a custom, though. Pretty nice run, I'll take it. A lot of useful stuff. And I got 700 scraps, so I'll make a T2 and I'll research some stuff. I think I'm gonna take the custom out instead. Just have more ammo for it now. Make some doors. I think I'm also gonna upgrade the base. After dome, I expanded the base with the stone I got earlier. With the level two down, I went back into launch site to either find PVP or more scrap. And I did find PVP, but I died. So I went back out with an M9 pistol to redeem myself. So just headshot me, hit me again. Like their base was fully like gone, like half gone. Oh, Jackie, get on me. Hey, I think they're trying to take a Brad. I'm trying. I think they're trying to take Brad with satchels.
Oh my god, you got OD loot, though. Slip out of there. Got my money's worth. Whoa, what the fuck? Ooh, Tommy shots by dome. Don't mind if I do. He's grubbed. Oh my god, why is there half the server here? This dude's blind as a bat. Blind as a bat. Always putting in work with that pump. Put the high ground right there. I'm too crazy. Seven hundred fifty scrap. Here's some MP shots over here. Go check it out. Could use me an MP5. Whoa, that's a new base. Either new or they upgraded. Helly and Brad seem to be respawning like every 30 minutes, so it's down in M12 right now. And check it out, maybe it's worth going to. Wish I had like a bolty or something though. I think the MP came over here. Oh shoot, it's going down. There's gonna be like a lot of grubs. Full metal is weak. I haven't heard him shoot in a while, he might be getting grubbed. Out of this DB kid. No. 
there's so many people, dude. I had like no choice but to run away from that DB kid because I had no ammo. Oh my god, that's a lot of rockets. I don't even think he's gonna loot me. Just insane over there. I mean, I got three Tommies, an MP, two hollows on the MP, is that even possible? And I got an AK. Next I went to get a red card because the admins on my server were telling me that launch site puzzle crates were giving insane loot because of the 4x loot bug. But with it being super active everywhere, I had to go to Harbor for a blue card. I might have chose like the grubbiest area to live. I want to be able to do a raid of my own, so I'm thinking I get all the cards, maybe do a cargo run. And by that point, I should have everything I need. Four of them. Oh my god. And yeah, you see how it's like 4x loot right now? Like, I only put the loot scale on 2. And for some reason, it made it 4. Maybe I had to put it on 1.5. I'm not really sure. And I don't know why I didn't think about bringing a fuse. I got the green card and I can easily get the blue card right here, but... Guys, just let me do that to him like that. I'm gonna ask him for a fuse, and if they have one, I'll give him a Tommy back. Yo, guys, yo, yo, guys. You scared the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> GGs. GGs, bro. Yo, if you guys have a fuse, I'll give you a Tommy back. Uh, oh, why you trying to run Harbor Dog? Yeah, I just want a blue card, man. That's why I came over here. And I realized I didn't have a fuse. <laughs> GG's bro. Gave him both the Tommies back, but took the ammo just in case he snaked me. I can always make more, and if I hit the top of launch, I should get a lot of SMG bodies. No way, is this ran? Oh no, I don't think it's ran. Nice. Okay, so now I got the blue. Where can I get the red? I think I'm going to definitely buy a horse at Large Barn. And then I can go to probably Airfield just to be safe. See, the loot stacks in two, but it's coming in four. I don't really understand why that's happening. Okay. 
Money, 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 money. Now that I have all the cards, I'm gonna hit the top of launch. Check out what type of loot I get. Crates are here. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Jeez, a lot of those. SMG body. Hazzies. And metal barricade, that's it. So we're gonna get better stuff than that. We have to AFK and go again. Getting a lot of high qual though. Probably be able to roam AK in no time. Um, pump. It's not really what I'm looking for. Once again. Cameras. Horse is still here. Let's look at that. Well, I guess the loot is really good because it's like 4x, but yeah, like 70 tech trash. Yeah, like the loot's actually insane. I was just really hoping for like an AK or a couple C4 or something. I still do have an AK, so I can easily research it and make a level 3. I can really do everything now. The crates weren't as good as I thought, but it was still a super good run that set me up for pretty much everything I need in terms of BPs and a level 3 workbench. But I still had a lot of farming to do for my base, so I started to get back to that and ran into my first potential enemies of the wipe. Alright, I think it's time to go on a farm. I need a lot of stone because I found a stone wall, so I feel like I have to put a stone compound down now. Especially with all these comps and scrap that I have, I can easily just BP it so it's not even a problem. Come on, I missed. Two stems. No. So going down, I got a chance. Dude, whoever that three man is, I need to figure out where they live. They gotta live around there, they came back so fast. Those are the kids I killed first and then they came back full kit. Like how, like how are they coming back full kit? Where do they live around there? 
Maybe they live down here? Like in that thing? Or they live up here where those shots are? Okay, buddy. I need to put this compound down and get like big furnaces going, but I want to find out where these guys live. I have a feeling they live in that wood base, which would be like wild. Like, but that's why I want to figure it out because that's like such an easy raid if they actually live in there. Because I can get the rocket quick. Like I have a lot of scrap. I can texture the rocket and then I can just go crazy on farming sulfur, smelt it all up. Yeah, see they're upgrading. This has to be them. No way. Yeah, yeah. Has he? I mean, what the heck is going on? There's so like, you can't even go over there with a kit. But I think they live there. I might have killed them on the roof. I need to go over there and check like AK over there. I don't even know if I could raid them like in a spot like this. Probably wouldn't end well. Case channel. Case channel is one of them. Lone wolf is another one. Killed by lone wolf, yep. Upgrading to she metal, there's no way. I don't want to die to the co-lock either, because I don't want to make it obvious. I just want to make it seem like I'm a grub. Yeah, they come out to kill me. You know, all I need. Oh, I just saw his name through the floor. Oh, she's gonna find out. Oh, he just pulled AK. Lone wolf, yep, it's them. Okay, time to get a compound down. These guys either started recently or are hardcore snowballing and had no time to upgrade their base because they seemed to have decent loot and they were a trio. Out of all the bases around the area, I felt like this was my best opportunity at a cheap raid for major profit. So I got working right away on a compound for big furnaces. And while I waited for all my farm to smelt, I expanded the base some more, got a level three workbench down, and even more garage doors placed. The craziest part was that I haven't even recycled yet, so I went to Outpost to do that. Whew, it gotta made it home, sheesh. That is way too much scrap to be running home on a full pop server. And then tech tree down the level three workbench just for fun. All right, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Crafted some stims and I crafted some full kits. I had the one AK already, but since I tech treated everything, I just figured might as well craft some. I had so much high qual from recycling. I should survive the night though. I don't think anyone knows where I live and I'm also a solo base, so should be chilling. Usually I'm able to AFK every night because there's never a queue. And when there's a queue, you always get kicked within 30 minutes. But typically on a normal server, that doesn't happen most nights. But this server's been queued since Sunday, so... Uh, there was no chance of me AFKing last night without getting kicked. I really hope I'm not raided. Looks like we're okay, boys. I need to get some high qual pretty bad. I need to get charcoal, I need to start smelting my sulfur. With day two technically being my final day on the server, I wanted to make sure I got around to do most of the things I do in all my videos. More PvPing, raid someone, and defend a raid. So I began my morning by trying to find PvP at Cargo. This is it, right? Yep, this is it. They barely upgraded. Oh my god, I have to raid this like soon. I really just need charcoal, so I'm gonna get all my furnaces ripping right now with the wood I got, and uh, hope that's enough. Alright, I think while all that's going, I'm gonna go to... Oh shoot, cargo's coming in, perfect time, let's go. I was gonna say small rig or large rig, but cargo's even better, let's run that. Yo, bro! You got oil? Oh no, you go cargo. Oh shit. I coming. Hey, hey, hey. One of these days I'm gonna let those guys come and it's gonna be the worst thing I ever let happen to me. I'm gonna trust them too much, like give them a gun and stuff and then all of a sudden, backstab. Can't afford it.
four single armor doors. This loot's insane. I don't even know what to do with all this. I probably does. I just like don't like like see it because like. Hey, okay. Ability. Just... So how does that work, dude? This loot's insane. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! I can't even hold them. I think I'm gonna leave the rib out in the water, like right here. I'll leave it far enough to where people don't really want to swim to it. Hopefully, nobody comes back for the loot. I'm gonna buy a horse at ranch right here and book it home. It's usually my luck that nobody shows up to cargo when I go, but at least I got some fire loot out of it. Like, it's actually insane. Just need to make it home now. Anything good? Anything good? Anything good? Oh my god, complete garbage. Nobody contested, but at least the loot I got was well worth going for. Now I was hungry for PvP, so I went roaming around the map. No! Oh my god, so many people. Dude, it's crazy over there. What is going on? I just walked out of my base with two full kits. What the heck? They're loaded. <laughs> what is happening? I want to get back to that huge fight, bro. Like, all this loot on the ground, though. Need this wood. I think the fight stopped already. Oh, there's M2 there now. No way! I must have not been full HP. He just blew himself up. And I got rocketed. The guy's gotta be dead. I'm almost dead to a pump. Yep, and then the other full kit peeks me and I'm gonna die now. Yep, that's how it always goes. It's one called heavies on small. Might counter that. They're still PvPing with AK over there. I don't understand how. I'm gonna go over to that PvP 
But if it looks like they have it under control, I'm just gonna go to Smoil. It's like constant though, it's crazy. He's right up here with AK. No way. He has to be dead. Yep, he's dead. Depot this real quick. Hit him bolty too. I'm gonna hang on to that. After this full kit PvP, I mixed my sulfur into boom and went to scout the potential enemy base from yesterday. Once I started thinking about the game plan on how to raid them, I quickly realized that I have no chance of successfully raiding them without an auto turret and a raid base because of how fast counters will show up. So that made me change my entire game plan and think of a way to raid someone without being countered. Then it hit me. There was a base right down the hill from mine that was fully sheet metal and had a stone compound. Not only that, but I know they have good loot because I saw them roof camping in full kits while fighting the bigger base next to them. Now the reason why this is a perfect raid target is because I could jump over the compound and safely raid them from the inside without any counters easily grubbing me. And by the time they figure out what I'm doing, I should already have it fully locked down. So with this master plan, I prepare the rockets. I just don't know if the rockets I have is enough. I also have this much explo, so I think you know, it'll be close. Like, I'll definitely see some loot. I'm gonna bring two SARS just to be safe. I'm gonna bring two silencers as well. I'm gonna put down a ray base as well, just for respawns. Oh, yeah, this should be everything I need right here. Need a launcher. Grab that. Take an extra stim stack. And the base is like right down here. It's like right next to that huge base, so I know I'm gonna get countered. Okay, I got TC down. Two boxes real quick. Okay, hopefully I get over this wall the right way. Really hate to struggle getting over this thing. You stupid. No, no. Go. Okay, it might be easy from the top, so I'm gonna go up first. Only a sheet door, I'm definitely going through this. door. Okay, wait, that's not what I wanted to see. I think that wall behind the front door is armored. I only have 24 rockets, so I can't afford to go through G-doors and high call. It's gotta be core, right? Is this a 1x2 or a 2x2? Oh yeah, it's a 1x2. Yeah, that's core right there. Explode through there, and then rockets right at the core. I gotta be so quick when I shoot these rockets, though. Yeah, that's core, 100%. Alright. Gotta be quick, 16 rockets, here we go. I think people are pulling up. Got TC. 
forgot to bring wood. Oh, there's wood in here. Let's go. Go, got it sealed up. Another AK kit. Holy loaded. Holy loaded. <laughs> Yo, wait. Oh my god, so many AKs. Okay, that's sulfur back right there. Combined with what's downstairs? Bunch of wood. Anything back there? No. So I already got the first two floors. I'm guessing that next floor is uh, third floor. There might be like some kits up there, I'm guessing. And then there's definitely loot behind this she door, like their T3. A lot of cloth. Nothing in the fernies. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was one more floor. some pretty good sulfur that's almost like profit i think this whole raid was big time profit all these ak's is crazy Home sweet home, with an inventory of full kits and AKs. <laughs> the raid turned out way more loaded than I thought, and my plan worked perfectly, as there were grubs trying to find their way in the entire time. But once I let things cool down, I was able to transfer all the loot out safely. Then, a familiar name showed up to my base. Actually getting raided right now? What are they going there? What is what is happening? I'm actually getting raided. That guy dead? He's gotta be.
Alright, well I got in probably half their boom. The last guy might have died to like a grub and then he maybe left out the back. I heard C4 go off. Yeah, he left out the back gate. Oh, what the f- He baited the hell out of me. He's just sitting, he's just camping in there. Crap, <laughs> you landed on. <laughs> oh my god, this loot's crazy. Dude, the bodies here are getting nuts. Oh. I'm sure most of you know that I played with MX before, but I didn't ask him to come raid. He was on my server playing for fun with his two friends, and they just wanted to raid me for some reason. I wasn't mad at them though, it's part of the game, and it still resulted in a ton of fun. I've also never seen so many grubs at a raid like this. It wasn't even a big raid, and there were bodies on the floor like we just had an hour long Brad fight in launch site Cobalt building. At this point, my time was running low on the server, so I put out a TikTok asking for anyone else to come raid me before it was too late. And nobody came all night, so I went to bed, and finally at 6.30 a.m., the offliners arrived. What the heck? I already got to my bedroom floor? How's that even possible? do about this.
shooting so many insoons, I can't even get up there. If I kill them once, I'm good, but they keep insoning out everything. I can't get through the roof, and then there's people in my compound. I have ladders. Okay, I can make a play with these ladders. So that actually didn't turn out how I wanted, but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Before I even logged in, they blew in the exact ceiling to my bedroom, and one garage door after that, they had my level 3 workbench and my loot room with all my guns. So I lost two lockers full of kits and all my extra guns after only dying one time. Then I had one locker with kits left, but they rocket PvP'd me over five times, which made it impossible to defend. It happens though, and like I mentioned earlier, my 24 hours were pretty much up anyway. Overall, the future of community servers are looking really bright. I'm super blown away by the functionality of how some of these servers are already running, and it's only going to get better. Make sure to try out Enlisted. They put a huge amount of detail in the weapons, vehicles, environments, and effects. Enlisted is available for free on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and with cross-platform support, you can even play on the PS4 and Xbox One. Follow the link below to download the game and get your exclusive bonus pack now including soldiers, weapons, and a three-day premium account. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.